I'm going to practice decision making for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called random pulls because we're going to pull 13 or 14 random tiles to mimic a dealt hand. And then we're going to practice identifying the strength of that dealt hand. That's the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Don't look at the comments below until after the video. Pause after each random pull and then note what you would play and what you would discard. Then put your choices in the comments below and we'll look at the consensus. This would be pull one. We have a joker, south, pair of white dragons, two, three, seven, nine, single dots, pair of fours with our bams, and a seven. What would you play and pick to discard for the first Charleston pass? We do have potential for a year hand here. News with the year. But there's also two, three, four, five. Five tiles. Five tiles. That leaves us with these discards, including like numbers. I would pick a hand and whittle this down. There is a 579 hand that uses a dragon, but it's the opposite dragon. So I don't think I would play odds. There is a consecutive run hand that uses a dragon, but it's corresponding. So in order to leverage the multiple here, I would play a year hand. Or we could play 2, 3, 4, 5 and give up those and use this as joker bait. There are no gaps here. Two, three, four, five, second hand down. Use this as joker bait, pass these. I think that's what I would do because we only have one wind, one nine. We have no ones and we could use this multiple, use that as joker bait. We could always switch back to a year hand if it comes back during the Charleston, but I think I would focus on consecutive run. Two, three, four, five, and use that as joker bait. If we get fours, we could always play like numbers with fours and use both. Or maybe even a quint if we get big multiples, pungs, and another four, of course. We would need the four crack for that quint with the dragon. But I'd say that would be a long shot. It would be a way to use both multiples though. So two, three, four, five consecutive run, like numbers or the quint. And then maybe use that as joker bait if we don't do a quint. Get rid of these. I think that's how I would play this. You could probably do 2019 and give up the five and hold these as joker bait. I think there's equal potential, but the reason I like the consecutive run here is there are no gaps. For the year, we have single news and ones that we would need to get. I think either one would be viable actually. I think I like this one better though because we can fall back to like numbers or even a quint. For the year, you would only be focused on the year. Here, we're focused on consecutive run with an option for like numbers or the quint. This was a good one. Lots to consider on this one.
I just saw another opportunity. Four, five, six, seven, seven. No gaps. Four, five, six, seven, seven. That's six tiles. That's even better. That's kind of risky. Four, five, six, seven, seven. Six tiles. No gaps. And it's a 30 point hand. I think that I would be hesitant to do this one because eventually we're going to have to pass a white dragon. And I don't like doing that. I think I would rather go with the original plan. Two, three, four, five, or like numbers with fours or the quint. Pass those first. That way we have tiles for the Charleston and we won't have to pass the white dragons more likely than not. And we have options. I think this is the way I would go. We have jokers for pull two, and we're the dealer incidentally, 14 tiles. So we have jokers of west, pair ones, five, one, two, three, five, seven, four, six, nine. There's a multiple. So what would you play for pull two? I would say this is the strength. I would definitely give up the west. One, one, two, three, five. I think there's one, three, five potential. One, three, five. I would not pick a hand here. We have some consecutive run potential. We even have year potential. Maybe keep the nine and pass those three. So we have little odds consecutive run or a year hand with multiples in mixed suits. So I would not pick a hand here. We're between categories, consecutive run, little odds, and a year. That would all be building around this one. And that would be a really good pass right there. And then we would just whittle down during the Charleston, building around the one. Non-dealer. Pull three, we have a joker, a pair of white dragons, three, seven, nine, five, six, seven, eight, singles, singles, one, five, seven. What would you play and what would you pass for pull three? This is the strength, so this is where I would start. We need to find tiles to support the white dragon. We could do big odds. Five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. That would be the fourth hand down, but I wouldn't pick a hand right away. I think I would hold the nine and the one for a potential year hand. So here we have one, five, seven, I would hold the five, five, seven, seven, nine by process of elimination. 
I would pass those three. I'd focus on big odds or a year hand. Five, seven, seven, nine, or five, seven, seven, nine, and dragons, depending on which nines come in, or year hand if twos come in. I think that's how I would play this one. Mahjong is a complicated game. The more you play, the better you get. The more you practice, the more confidence you gain. It all kind of works together. So if you have a set of tiles at home, give random pulls a try and practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.